Far-right leader Geert Wilders wins Dutch election, exit poll. Here's a summary of the article. S-C-H-E-V-E-N-I-N-G-E-N, Netherlands, the anti-Islam, Eurosceptic radical Geert Wilders is projected to be the shock winner of the Dutch election. Dilem Ye, Ilgos, outgoing Premier Mark Rutte's successor as head of the centre-right VVD, suffered heavy losses and is on course to win 24 seats, 10 fewer than before, according to the updated exit poll by Ipsos for national broadcaster NOS. A win for Wilders will put the Netherlands on track, potentially, for a dramatic shift in direction, after Rutte's four consecutive centrist governments. Wilders is also a hardline Eurosceptic, who has called for a so-called, Nexit, referendum on leaving the EU. This exit poll is historic. It is the biggest shift we have ever seen in the Netherlands, political scientist Tom van der Meer told national broadcaster NOS. According to van der Meer, three things might explain Wilders' unexpected win. Peter Omtzit, whose newly formed party is projected to win 20 seats, has previously ruled out joining forces with Wilders at all, saying his anti-Islam policies go against freedoms of expression and religion that are enshrined in the Dutch constitution. The small room where the party is being held erupted in cheering when the first exit poll was announced. The venue for the election night party was only found three days ago after Wilders made an unexpected surge in the polls. Almost one hour after the first exit poll dropped, Ye, Ilgos came out to speak to the public and her party members. This post received a score of 4,700, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Why did PVV have a surge in polls? Also what does this mean for Ukraine aid? Or to Netherlands in general? Depends on the coalition. He has 35 seats, but there's 150 seats in parliament, so... 23% for anyone wondering. One out of four people voted for him. One out of four people who voted, voted for him. Greater than set to win around 35 of the 150 seats in parliament he will need partners to form a coalition government. Who's gonna be up for being the junior partner of the far right? It will depend on whether the more center-leaning right-wing parties, VVD, NSC, are up for a collab. And I wouldn't be surprised if they are based on the rhetoric in the final week of the campaign. NSC has previously ruled out a coalition with the PVV, although that could have been an electoral tactic. NSC seemed much more opposed to a collaboration with Groen Links, PVDA than PVV. They didn't rule him out, they just said it would be difficult because of certain points. My interpretation of the last few days of the campaign is that most right-wing parties including NSC are basically saying that if Wilders drops Nexit and the Islam ban stuff they'd consider playing ball. He already dropped the Islam ban, so for him to save a coalition he'll probably drop the Nexit also. He will drop it 100%. Nexit is not important to him strategically. I'd say he wants emphasis on reduced migration, which is generally accepted by the other right-wing parties albeit in softer terms. In terms of other stuff he'll be okay with ceding ground to NSC and VVD. Well, he wants a Nexit, but he wants to leave it to a referendum. And I don't think there is even close to a majority for leaving the EU, so I don't think that is much of an issue either. The most support you could get would maybe allow you to take back some of the powers given to the EU. Ultimately I think people misinterpret Nexit as a goal when it's a means to combat a lack of power over certain processes which proponents of a Nexit want to be in the hands of the national government rather than the EU. Let's face it, it essentially boils down to control over the border and immigration. Nexit as a, probably empty, threat to negotiate power away from the EU. Is this the guy with the, Nexit, narrative? Didn't he see how well it went for the Brits? That will never happen. Wilders can't do anything without other parties. I also have not heard anyone in Europe say anything about, dot exit, since Britain left the EU. That's how much of a colossal fuck up it was. France and Italy had genuine movements to try to do so. Not enough popular support to go through, but not so little as they weren't politically relevant. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.